I've always been drawn to empty spots on the map. As an itinerant hiking guide author and ski photographer, I used to travel back and forth along the Rockies and pass through the Red Desert. This is an area that is so vast and so empty and so mysterious that it was just intriguing to me. And I've been hooked ever since. The Sagebrush Sea is a place of quiet beauty wildlife and wildflowers and all kinds of little hidden gems to discover that are really only revealed to those who spend a lot of time out in sagebrush country. It's a place that really houses the soul of the American West. My name is Eric Mulvar. I'm a wildlife biologist and sagebrush sea campaign director with Wild Earth Guardians. To be a guardian is to protect what you love. It's to protect and speak for those wildlife that can't speak for themselves. It's to protect those landscapes that others might just allow to be destroyed. And it's to make a real difference in the history of the West, turning us from a culture of exploitation to a culture of stewardship. Ever since President Bush took office, the oil and gas industry has been running roughshod all over the sagebrush basins of the West. They've been coming in with bulldozers and drilling rigs and carving up the sagebrush into a spider web of roads and pipelines and drilling pads. And it suddenly became the hottest issue in the American West. It soon became obvious that the fate of these sagebrush ecosystems and the fate of the sage grouse were closely intertwined. Sage grouse need large expanses of unspoiled sagebrush habitat to survive. If you want to be a conservationist, it is absolutely necessary to have complete command and become an expert. You need to know more about the land than the people who are working on it. You need to know more about the wildlife than the wildlife management agencies do. You need to know more about the law than the corporate lawyers do. Sometimes I walk into a room and I'm the only conservationist and there are 30 other people all representing industrial interests and corporate interests and local governments who want to degrade and destroy in the name of greater economic returns. And I think when I walk into that room with only one of me and 30 of them, that I have them outnumbered because I know that I have the science behind me. I have the force of knowledge that protecting the earth is the right thing to do. The sage grouse offers the last best hope that the West has of maintaining its wide open spaces, its abundant wildlife, its quality of life. If we fail to protect the sage grouse, then many other species are also going to go down in the crossfire. And an oil and gas industry and a livestock industry that have been abusing the land for many decades will continue to wreak havoc and behave in ways that are unsustainable, not just for natural communities, but for human communities as well.